Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to show you some of the models I have folded in one year period of time. So let's start with a few simple models. This is Butterfly NC, designed by Satoshi Kamiya. Then we have Snail by Hideo Komatsu. I'm one of the first folders ever to fold it. Scorpion by Lanka. The best scorpion ever in my opinion. Chocobo, but this is not a regular version, it's a chibi version, which is reverse engineered in the picture. Cyclomatus Metallifer by Camilla from foil paper. Octopus by Satoshi Camilla. Love this model. It's folded from Unryu, which is like one of the best papers ever that are not so expensive. This is Crab by Satoshi Camilla. Fiddler Crab. I was one of the first ones to fold it as well. As you can see, this is like version with color changes. Class. I made the giant version as well. Let me show you. Yeah, this one is like super giant. Yeah. Then I have this beetle. I'm not really sure the name for it, but it's designed by my friend Antonio De Luca or TS Key Origami. Pretty easy, pretty fun model to fold. You see, you have this spikes. I don't know. And then this one is super simple it's Diamond by Satoshi Kamiya. Now let's go a little bit harder models. So I'm going to start with a simple hard model. Now this really, it's uh, Ryujin 2.0. Now lots of people don't even know that this thing exists. This is the first scaled Ryujin. As you can see, I don't really like the result, but yeah, there it is. Like you can see the scales everywhere. So I'm not really like super proud of this one, but anyway, I was the first one, well actually second one to fold it ever, since, yeah, Camille didn't publish the crisp pattern or anything. Um, and then we have Attack of Kraken by Brian Chan, really nice and fun model to fold. Now, actually... Brian Char, Chan, sorry, signed it here. So here is his signature. My uncle went to Boston, and yeah, he met him and he showed him my Kraken. Then this is Tengu by Nokita Keda, I guess. Back like that. Pretty nice model, simple to fold. You can see wings um yeah super simple so those were all oh here's another one it's a giant tree frog by Robert Lang now let me show you a few crisp pattern giant models that I have folded but first let's put this back Okay, so this is one of the giant models, obviously. Just going to put it here. So, let me show you another. Oh, and the frog, of course. But that was from Diagram, but anyway. Um, here is Ryujin 2.1.
yeah, super simple model. Lots of people think it's super hard, but actually it's super simple. It's the same as 2.0, less scales, and everything else is the same. Again, I'm not super proud of this one, but hopefully I'm going to fold it again and it will look much more better from better paper. Now, I was the fourth one in the world to fold this model. It's Snake by Satoshi Kamiya. Now, it's super new model, designed in like 2012 or 11, I'm not really sure. But he published the Chris pattern uh, a month ago, maybe? Yeah, it's great design. Uh, when you fold the base, well, you can actually see the pictures on my Flickr of folding process. So, yeah, it's actually X when you fold it. And then you put one, two parts, and you just connect them. See, two parts connect here. So it's just an amazing idea. Well, we all know Kamiya is genius. <laughs> then we have... Now, I like... Well, that's all. those are all origami models folded from Chris Patterns. And, well, those are giant ones. I'm going to show you some unfinished ones or test folds or just test parts whatever so let me start with this one it's a tail of Ryujin 3.5 I've shaped some scales yeah pretty simple to fold so one tail I have another one which is yellow doesn't shape any scale here so yeah, it's completely the same, just, yeah. And then I have this one, which is like the best one I ever did. I didn't glue it, so you can see how it looks from inside. I shaped scales on this side. I didn't on the other, so yeah, the scales are shaped there. Then um, we have... Well, this is the best fusion head I ever folded. So here it is. 3.51. You can tell that by it has a tongue. It has here those spikes, whatever. Antlers. Yeah, it has two antlers and three small ones. On 2.1 you have three of them so Kamiya just made three from one and it has those giant antlers here that are better than 2.1 and of course it's yeah looks better and then I have Prank Mantis by Kamiya as well here it is it's just a base yeah, the paper isn't not that good. So basically, head is here. Yeah, here is the head. Arms, two legs, and then abdomen, body, whatever. And then unfinished Hideo Komatsu's tiger color gold yeah just too lazy to finish it I have 3.5 leg test fold um, there are a few shaped scales now the one square here is exact it's exactly in the size of the scale that would be folded from 140 by 140 centimeters paper. Now this is unfinished. Uh, wasp 2.6. Yeah, 2.6. So yeah, here's stale. You just have to do fold this in half. Here is the head. Here are the legs. Wings are those. Remember those two? No those two if I remember correctly but yeah not sure and another one well 
basic base model. This is Karibu 2.1 or 2.2, I'm not sure. By Kamiya as well. Legs are here, the front legs. Now, here is the head. And there should be ears and horns. You just have to do here some simple box splitting. Now, let me see. Oh, yeah. Here is unfinished, well, actually finished bottom base for Eugene 3.5. Yeah, this one is from 140 by 70 centimeters. So here is the leg. Yeah, legs, scales everywhere. This is some finished tail. It's not exactly from Camille's grist pattern, but that's how I will make it later. From the back is all blue. Now the difference, uh, let's see. I fold the tail from this over here and this part here will be shorter it would look like just to hide this it would look like this and that sucks I like this one more so yeah those were giant moths now I'm going to show you my designs that are not that bad in my opinion since they are my design oh yeah, snake again love this model, it, it's the most complex thing I ever folded harder than 3.5, well 2.1 okay, now my designs uh, let's begin with my one of the first ones. So here it is. It's owl on the branch. So there's owl. Here's the branch. From the back looks like this. Yeah, it's wet folded, so I did branch in this cool way, I guess. Really like this model. Put the wire inside so it can stand. Now, then, when I folded the uh, sowl, I thought, why don't I add feathers on the wings? So I created another version with feathers and a branch, which is more branchy. So here it is. Branch looks better. It has wings, well, feathers on the wings. From the back looks like this. Pretty simple model. Yeah, you need like 10 minutes to fold this one, maybe half an hour to fold this one if you're kind of fast. Um, now I created this goat before owl. I forgot to show you that first. But yeah, this one was from for challenge, well, contest between me and one of my friends. So basically, it's goat. Um, it's designed in Tree Maker, so yeah, reference were super hard to make. I should shape it a bit better, as you can see, legs are spread. <laughs> Never do it to stand. Okay, so, oh, sorry about this, I forgot to show you Lion by Komatsu, so yeah. Um, then I started designing 3D tessellations which are regular tessellations but they are 3D now I design for one of my really good friends Cecilia origami fan that's her flicker name she is like the best Chris pattern folder in the world or best female folder in the wo world so I designed her name as you can see it's totally 3D from the back looks like this I guess this was the hardest model that I have ever folded. Well, the second hardest model I have ever folded because uh, of the snake. But yeah, pretty hard to fold. And yeah, it took me two days to fold this thing and 
uh, learn how to design those 3D installations. So, two worth spended days. Then, um, well, I designed this uh, two days ago actually. It's another 3D installation. It says Lost. Now, I, I watched um, Lost series, which is super cool, recommended to everyone. So I'm kind of lost addict, so I just thought, why don't I design a lost 3D installation? So yeah, this one is the same as Cecilia ones. Um, from the back, looks like this. Love the back. And if you put it on the light, it looks, you can see some squares here and all that. Looks kind of cool. So yeah, that was the second 3D installation. Now... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. This is another owl. It's the same as this one. But the difference between those are... Well, it's white and black. And yeah, this was made from my father. Those are actually mustaches. Now, I call this one Salvador Dali Owl. And Salvador Dali is a favorite painter of my father. So I made this one for him. Okay, then I designed this one maybe a few weeks ago. It's cow. Super simple model, you can fold it in five minutes. It's simple, effective, all that. Really like it. Um, it's wet folded as well. So yeah, have two models so far. Um, now another bird. Um, this is actually a great tit bird, like, it's, I designed this one maybe a week ago, love this model, it said it has color change here, it's color change, it's not just, yeah, so feathers on the wings, maybe I could uh, change, turn this to uh, parrot, but yeah, I like it like this. I used um, box splitting for this one. Uh, well, kind of advanced box splitting because I added some other parts. Whatever. So that's origami tit, great tit, and the best model so far, designed by me, of course. It's crane in flight or flickerney beauty in flight. So yeah, the best mold so far, this one maybe has feathers here, has feathers on the tail, it's totally 360 design. Uh, well, teeth as well and owls are also 360, so yeah, those are the wings. Um, the legs you have four toes, well they are all the same size. Uh, the real crane has, well, every bird has three bigger and one smaller toe. So yeah, here is big. There is actually eye here, I'm not sure if you can see it. Yeah, probably not, but whatever, there is eye. Yeah, it stands as well, so let me see if I can... Yeah. So... I guess those were all origami models I have folded in the uh, previous 2012 year. So, yeah. Well, actually, Chris pattern models are mostly from 2012, but those new designs are totally new 2013. So, thank you for watching.